So no, you did not read the title of this video wrong. This golf club is 34 golf clubs in one. It comes in this telescopic shaft and at the back of the golf club is this lever. When you turn it, it allows you to move the loft by two degrees at a time, giving you anything from a putter setting all the way up to a lob wedge. I'm down here at the Marriott Worsley Park. I'm gonna tee it up, get the driver setting tuned in to see if I can play golf with this. 34 golf clubs in one. Come on, let's get to that first tee. Hi guys, I'm Rick Shields, PGA Golf Professional. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hit the like if you enjoy this video and make sure you subscribe. So this golf club arrives in this little handy bag, kind of fits in there, which is crazy. And it's just enough room to get a few golf balls inside it. And even a pocket for my phone. And a few little tea pegs too. I've got everything I need for around the golf. Now, as I showed you at the start of the video, you can use this telescopic shaft, which gives it probably, I'd say, more like a four iron shaft length. And then this little lever at the back. I'll just twist it once and you can put it in a setting. So I need to find the driver setting, which is the D there. So that little line is set up to driver. I'll fasten that up. And that driver now, even though it's an iron, probably looks like it's got maybe about 10 degrees aloft on it. Not a lot at all. Let's hope it doesn't break on I me. Mean, let's hope this telescopic shaft can uh, hold a bit of speed. Right, par four, first hole. This is nice and easy. Just one golf club to think about. All right, come on. Hmm. Not the best start. It's down there. <laughs> it might take a little bit of a while to get used to, but we're off. Let's uh, get the next setting tuned in. Let's see if we can find the green. So this feels quite nice, this. Just walking with one club and a little pouch. Now that was weird feeling off the first tee. I didn't, I didn't at all feel confident I was gonna hit that shot well. Well, you know, if you're just having a little wander around a golf course, this is ideal. Doesn't feel like I'm carrying anything. Feels like I've almost got a caddy. I'm just carrying my putter to the green, even though it's still my driver at the moment. Let's, uh, let's find the ball. I'm intrigued to see how it's out of rough. I might have a long shot into this green, though. Okay, so I found my shot. I've, I've probably hit it off the tee about 180 yards because I've still got 200 yards to the green. A 200 yards for me is probably my five iron. So let's spin this round and find that five iron setting. This is the only little niggly bit. You really got to kind of twist it back and forth until it finds it. And then once it's in, <laughs> it's in. Fasten it up. Let's see if I can get it on the green with the five iron. Oh, it's come out great. Get there, get there. Run up a bit, run up a bit. Oh, we're almost putting. I'm not sure that looked like it came out higher than a five iron, but I suppose it is a slightly longer shaft. We're almost on the green. I might have to chip still. There's a chance of making par on the first hole here. You know what, after a bad tee shot, that's not a bad recovery for the second. Now, I'm just off the side of the green. Now this has got a setting on this club that goes really lofted, almost lob wedge S. So I've gone past the sand wedge and check this out. We'll give it a turn. The loft on that now, without measuring it, looks like it's about 65 degrees. It's crazy. Now, the only thing is it's still got the same length of shaft. This feels like a lob wedge with a four iron shaft. So I'm going to grip down and see if we can get up and down. That stopped quicker than I expected. The loft on it, I mean, that feels honestly like it might even be more than 68 degrees. It is flat as a pancake, the loft on that club. Right, so we've got a chance to par. The good thing is you can just stick your bag on the green. I've gone for the putter. Oh no, I've gone all the way around. Putter setting. Yeah, make sure that's right. And that's not the driver setting, which gives me a super flat face. 
And again, the length of it is probably going to be the biggest challenge because that, again, feels like a really long putter. Grip down a little bit. See if we can hold one for par. That is tough. <laughs> the length of it is the thing that throws me off the most. It is a bogey. Oh, and chances as well there. Right, let's get that driver going on the next tee. So the only hiccup, you never quite know if you're on the right loft. That time I thought I was set for probably a pitching wedge, but I reckon that must've come out much more like a nine iron. It's hard to exactly gauge, because that went through the green, which was a shame, because it was a good shot. <laughs> Not hold the bean. Putting's definitely the hardest bit with this. Okay, so I'm down here on the seventh hole. Beautiful hole. I'm going to see. With all the golf balls I've got in my pouch, which is, I think I've got five. Let's see if I can hole one on this iconic par three. It is, it's going to be about 145 yards. Got to go a bit. Okay, we're on the green. Oh, thin slightly over the green on that one. It's definitely the length of this club that throws me the most. This is an eight iron, which has really got the shaft length of like a four iron. Right, come on. Oh, that's good. Stalled in the wind, it's on the green though. Two more goes. Better for distance. No, it wasn't, it stayed in the wind. Okay, last attempt. I'm gonna go seven iron. I'm gonna crank it one more notch. Oh, it's leaked. Ah, oh, three on the green, two missed the green, zero hole in one attempt. Now this is where all the loft is going to be needed. See if it can hit a flop shot. Oh! That's impressive. <laughs> that went so high up in the air. Considering you can hit a tee shot with this and then flip it to a lob wedge. Mm, that was pretty good. That shot was ridiculous. Right, let's put it back into putter setting. I've struggled with the putter so far. I've not been able to get much feel. Back on the putter. Oh, <laughs> cannot hold a thing with this. A means to an end. I think that's probably the best way of describing this. It's not ideal, it's not great, but it kind of does a job to a degree. If it's your only chance of getting out and playing, if you travel a lot and it's literally the only solution you can have to maybe putting this in your bag, go down to driving range, go and play nine holes, and it kind of does the job. So many crazy ideas in the world of golf, and this is definitely one of them. Gimmick or genius, uh, depends who it's being used for, for me. It's a little bit gimmicky, but I got out and played some golf and that's all that matters. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Leave us a comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts of this bad boy and what is the most gimmicky golf club or gadget you've ever seen in golf. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned, lots more to come. And we shall see you next time.
Oh, I was hoping to show you how easy it was to put it back in the bag, but you know what? It's not. Go on. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Never mind. Can't be perfect. <laughs> <laughs>